You can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf. And it was such an amazing conversation as we came in and out of the COVID era. But one of the big conversations is we've got to have a quick look at the 2022 transition. As a great real estate agent, you need to close out 2021, which means you've got to be prospecting, you've got to be listing, and you've got to be making sure that you're doing everything that you can. Why? Because there are big changes ahead. We saw some huge moves by the banks, some conversations by the Australian Prudential Regulation Authority, and also to some out of control inflation in New Zealand and over in America. What that means is that 2022 is a completely different year. In Australia, we're looking at a federal election, probably somewhere around about March and April. We're looking at an interest rate increase where the majority of all the commentators in the economy are thinking that by September next year, we'll have an increase in interest rates. And in addition to that, we've actually got buyers that are gonna have 5% less to spend based on the changes that the APRA have made in terms of buyers' ability to be able to go and borrow money. That means as an agent, you need to transition quite fast. For the majority of markets on the east coast of Australia, we've had to move from private appointments where all of a sudden the buyers were forced to legally chase you to then all of a sudden going to open homes where you have to chase the buyers to make sure they turn up. As an agent, you've got to change the way you go and do the work. And most importantly, that you start listing now for 2022. So how do you do it? Well, ultimately, you have a completely different conversation. Mr. and Mrs. Owner, if we get a number of buyers in November and December that turn up to auctions that aren't successful, we're gonna have some people that are gonna be really upset that wanna go and buy a property. Would it be okay if I mentioned your property to them? In order to do that, I'd love just to have some photos on file so I could quickly show them the property, and if it really suited their requirements, then I might be able to bring them through your home off market in a private appointment. If we're in a position that they make a great offer, then ultimately we can sell. But if they don't, that's cool. We can actually launch the property at the start of next year. And this is a great way to make sure that we can really build that level of momentum. One of the things we're also gonna be doing inside of our business is that we're gonna have a little page on our website called Launching in 2022, with a list of all those properties that are gonna be coming to market, which allows buyers to have a quick look to see whether or not we can generate some good quality pre-interest in your particular property before it launches. That allows us to put on the website, on our emails, most importantly, to get in a position that we can be launching that property at the start of January. This is a great time to be selling. There's not a lot of competing homes. There's still an overflow of buyers from what's actually happened in November and December, and we can get you sold and avoid any of the challenges that we may face with a federal election this year. You see, life is all about getting the narrative right. And most importantly, it's about you making the very best decisions so you can play at your best. It's gonna be a wild year next year, and you need new skills to be able to be the very best agent that you can be.